Hello, SpongeX here, and Conquer Live and Reloaded is finally on Xbox One backward compatibility. I still find it a shame that this game was not included in Rare Replay in HD, um, especially since there were other games included that really didn't need to be included on Rare Replay. For instance, um, Viva Pinata and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. Did we really need both? We could have just had uh, Trouble in Paradise, because that was pretty much the first game, but better. Same thing with, like, Jetpack and Jetpack Refueled. We could have just... If I'm not mistaken, didn't Jetpack Refueled include the original Jetpack? So why did they include both games separate? So, it really is a shame that they included both Viva Pinatas and both of the first Jetpack games, but they didn't include... Um, both the original and the remake of Conker's Bad Fur Day. It would have been fun for those who have never played both games to see the difference between the original and the remake. But although it's not in HD, um, they finally ported it over for backward compatibility on Xbox One, and that's pretty exciting. However, um, those who do not have a disc of the original are going to be let down. The game is not available digitally, so you have to have a disc of the original remake in order for the game to be played on Xbox One. So, the game is not very common, so you would have to find it at a pawn shop or look it up online. But, regardless, for those who held on to their copy for all these years, they finally have a chance to play it on Xbox One. Conquer Live and Reloaded is an Xbox remake of an N64 classic from 2001 by Rare called Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which was an M-rated game starring a squirrel who got a serious hangover and is trying to find his way home, finding one crazy situation after another. Conquer's Bad Fur Day was a very unique video game. On the N64, it was praised as one of the best graphic games ever made for that console, and it had really unique visuals and very good use of sound effects and voice acting. Um, it's funny how the Xbox remake from 2005 managed to do the same thing again. Not only was it one of the best graphic games on Xbox, it was also, once again, one of the last games on Xbox, by also by Rare. So, strange how it was able to do that twice on two different consoles. But as I mentioned, Conquer Light and Reloaded had some issues when played on the Xbox 360's backwards compatibility. However, I can confirm that Xbox One fixed a lot of these issues, including bringing back the original loading screen. One thing that I noticed that probably helps for why these issues work better is because, unlike the Xbox 360 version, the Xbox One backward compatibility requires you to install the game's files onto your hard drive. So, and I guess that helps it run better. The Xbox 360 version just tried loading everything faster, and that seemed to cause a lot of problems, including random freezes and certain visual effects not appearing the way they should have. So, I thought I would show some comparisons to show you the differences between the Xbox 360 version and the Xbox One version. The first visual glitch I want to show you from the Xbox 360 version is what I like to call the rainbow dust effect, which is a little particle effect that is supposed to look like dust, but it ended up looking like a rainbow cloud. While it might look visually interesting, it's not how it's supposed to look. This can be seen in instances where the green imps popped out of the ground, ate the key in the training level, or like when the haystacks are hopping around the barn boys chapter. I don't have any footage of the original anymore, but um, I remember noticing um, the same thing happened when you first met that worm in the windy chapter. When it pops out of the ground, it's supposed to have like brown rocks spurt out, but instead it was a bunch of rainbow colored rocks, almost like something from a fishbowl. One of the most notable issues from playing on the Xbox 360 was the boss fight against the Great Mighty Pooh. During the final verse, um, during the back and forth between Conquer and um, the Great Mighty Pooh, there was a serious audio desync issue where the audio just 
either stuttered or did not match the visuals at all. No matter how many times you played it, it always messed up at that part. When I knock you out, we will buy that. I'm going to take your head and ram it up my butt. My butt. My butt. That's right. But I can confirm that on the Xbox One, this issue has been fixed. When I knock you out, we will buy that. I'm going to take your head and ram it up my butt. My butt. That's right, my butt. My butt. My butt. And those are the big differences I've noticed between playing Conquer Line Reloaded on Xbox 360 versus Xbox One. Conquer Line Reloaded may not be a perfect remake, but I still think it's worth checking out. I think it's great that Xbox One owners can finally have the chance to play both Conquer games. They can play the original N64 version on Rare Replay, while also seeing the differences made on the remake for Xbox. I personally feel mixed and match about both games. I think, um, like some people say, the N64 version is better in every way. Personally, I think there's something to love in both versions. And that's why I was really disappointed to see Live and Reloaded not included on Rare Replay in HD. Um, Conker's Bad Fur Day on N64 had better facial expressions, a much better multiplayer mode, and um, some slightly better features, but I think Live and Reloaded felt better as a single player game. Um, the multiplayer mode wasn't as good, but I thought the single player mode refined a lot of the annoying aspects from the original game, including like parts that took too long or wonky controls and camera angles. So, yep, yeah, I say if you have an Xbox One um, and you can manage to get a copy of Rare Replay and Conquer Wide and Reloaded, I would definitely give both games a chance and s see for yourself which ones you like better. Understand? Um, well, sounds a bit strange, but okay. Strange? It's the best bloody deal you're going to get, you little prick. <laughs>